Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to T minus 30. You have 30 minutes to build a city, build a huge amount of missiles, like rockets to escape, and the world explodes or everyone dies. That's it. You have 30 minutes, so it's going to be a 30 odd minute episode. Let's begin. So I'm going to ignore the tutorial, but we're going to talk about it anyway. So, your people need roads to get around. That's how things are. Your people need roads. Your people need houses. One food turns one compost and one work. People get around the city via the road. So if you don't have a road, your people can't get to work. Your people need food to derive from water, which then goes into the food things right now, so here to here, as you can see. So this guy is like, well, as you can see, one food equals one work, one compost. These things require water to start, and they require compost to do things. Okay, let's go through quickly. So yeah, we need foods and that. Then you start needing people to actually start doing the jobs. Let's just move around to here and to that. Let's keep expanding. You can also delete things. Certain resources on the map aren't actually real resources, as you can see. So obviously these are, these are, these are not. So as many resources as possible. Up to the top left, you can see how much work you've got, how much water you've got, and how much power you've got. Some buildings need work. Actually, they all need work. Some need water. Some of them need power. Basic ones do, in fact, not need any of that. So we've built a well over there, we have to build another one for this, actually I'm going to cancel it because I don't need it. I'm going to move on. So, once you've got that going, you need resources. Resources are wood, uh, stone, we also have plastic and metal, as you can see over here. So we've got wood, stone, metal, plastic, minerals and seeds. Obviously got food and compost, so food obviously people, compost is for food. Now, I've, I've got the highest score on this level at the moment, at 530,000 people survived, need 500,000 for three stars. So now I've talked fast, I can now start actually expanding. So you can only build work buildings, they're next to the road. If they're not next to the road, you can't build them, which is a bit of a problem, but there you are. You can only build roads connected to other roads. And your roads have to connect back to the citadel. That's where it is. So to see more stuff, you have to build markers. This is a basic one. Lookout post is a mounted lookout post, which sees even more. The world is dead. Absolutely dead. So you want to grab as much resources as possible. Buildings will give you certain resources like I can show here. Buildings will give you metal and plastic for every three work. You can get a more advanced version, which is 20 work, 10 energy, for 5 metal, 5 plastic and a mineral. So as you can see, as you expand, you get more resources. So your goal is to basically spread across the world like a plague. I just clicked out of the screen. You probably just heard future Futurama. That might even get me cut off. So you need water. Water can be turned into metals. So the water thing is here, which is 20 work, or 20 energy for 3 metal, 1 mineral. Then you've got this is 20 energy for 1 plastic. Of course we are not there yet. We have to keep on expanding, growing and helping. Okay, there we go. Yeah, but people are still spreading out, we need more people, we just start scaling into that, that now requires energy, energy requires metal and plastic, plastic we currently get from the beginning from houses, and you can see it's starting to get really quite extreme, and we've only got four minutes in. So obviously this is the entire game, there are obviously different levels, the first level is roughly the same, you, obviously there are changes, it is randomly generated but in a similar kind of layout, so once you've done it once, You've done it many times, so if you don't like what you see, you've already decided. Okay, have power now flowing in, good. Let's see, power can just get you to here. Now we can actually have this spread out. Now we can actually have this, have real big houses. There we go, for these. This will get us that. Now we need more food. Let's expand to the water level. I'd rather have these pumps bringing in water. Actually, we need more power up there as well. Of course, we do. These tiles are very, very thin. Let's see. Let's see. Any connector? No. There. To there. There we go. That's now being powered. Okay. Yeah, I know need farms need to be planting right now. It's the only food we've got, so we'll have to do it. Okay, we need more food. Damn it. Don't really like using them. Let's carry on expanding upwards, outwards, and over therewards. Now we need more of these. So you see, we've got plenty of food, we've got lots of water coming in, power's okay, everything should be good to go as this starts giving these guys food. Food is, of course, now a problem. Because we don't really have enough to start doing these, which are 
wood and compost. Once these are in, we can get a plenty of food. We just need to get them ready. There we go, people are back on the ground. Let's see what we need. What do we need? Wood and compost. We're not going to do very well at this. Obviously, explaining these things makes these games tougher because suddenly your brain isn't fully working on what you need to do. That's just why I really didn't want to do this. I was just thinking of just recording and then voiceovering afterwards, but I've decided to do it while talking so you can see what's happening. It also means I'll be talking quite fast because I'm suddenly panicking. There we go. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Expand this down here. Grab that to there. Okay, that's fine. Then I want this down to here to grab that for more wood and stone. Just put a special one down to there and get this basic transmitter. That's a windmill to there. That's now powered. Let's get that to there and there. There we are. Let's get a basic one which doesn't need power there and there. No, nope, already out. Now I need more wood. Let's expand into the forests. Do that to there and there. Grab the forests. Okay, no, no, people. People, of course, need more food. Food is, of course, still an issue. Oh my god, it's tough. The first 10 minutes will always be panic. Unless you are really preparing what you're doing. Of course, I was not. Don't need wood, don't need metal. This needs metal, of course, we do. Okay. Let's grab it from this house. It's over here. There we are. There's, these are always here. I want this down to here. One of these is going to become this. Uh, that one. There we are. Keep expanding this way. And I want to grab that over there. Again, you want to grab all the resources you possibly can. All of them. You don't really want to worry about having to get the... Uh, rockets up just yet you want to get everything going but that is the game so first stage is basic rocket stone metal plastic 400 people then you got the advanced rockets which are let's see 12,000 people but they require energy and then we've got the bio rockets which are 4,000 people or 6,000 people require water to power up so that's what you get this is energy to survivors this is water survivors basically anyone already on the place they're dead they aren't coming with you you are building a world for their children which we are growing on there. Imagine like massive gene banks. Everyone in here just try to make sure humanity survives and you are their benevolent, maybe overlord, try to help them. Okay, good. We're starting to get resources coming in nicely now. There. There. Good. Okay, put these two down. Okay, now we actually need to get these down because we need to get some more resources coming in. Okay, these will now start making metals for energy. Energy is fine. Housing is now a problem. Of course it is. Food's still an issue. That is fine. We can now start putting these in because these are now near the water. Let's actually expand this to here. Like to there. We'll have this to here. There we go. This will be my water farms. These need power, don't they? Status empty. Why? This is, oh, it's not close enough. It needs to be next to it. Quick, I need five more plastic. Quick, destroy more plastic. Ah, bug, I might have screwed myself. That's the people again. Need more food. So, yeah, usually I've done better than this. this is I've really screwed myself over. Can I destroy anything else with more resources? Maybe that one. No, wooden stone. That's not a good one. Yeah, well, keep on going. Keep on expanding anyway. Always expand. If you're not expanding, you screwed yourself over. That's the big one. Grab it all, grab it all. There we are. Always expand. But yeah, there isn't too much to the game. Outside of what I'm showing you, which is obviously just panic, there is not much else to it. So once you've done all of this, you've done all of this all over again, it's just time attack, I guess? Yeah, I guess it's just time attack after that. You know, do you want to get a better score? Do you want to just do better than previously? Okay, do that to there. Need that water thing next to this here. This is full, but it's not doing it. Why is it not delivering water? That's because it's not. Ah, I'm an idiot. Of course I am. 
Okay, this needs to be water here. Muppet. There we go. Now water's flowing. There we go, now water's flowing. Now, now these are being powered. More on Shogun. T minus 20, oh my god, I'm already, I'm really bad. You gotta stop putting plastic production down. So now, what, power being an issue. So we have windmills which do power anywhere, then we also have the solar panels which do more power, but it have to be right next to power supplies, like literally just here. Then obviously they go to the, these actual pylons and they get moved around. So we need a lot more power, we need a lot more energy, we need a lot more resources, we need a lot more food. Food is coming in now. Food will be coming in significantly fast very, very soon. There we go. They, of course, need a lot more compost. Compost needs more people. People need more food. You see the cycle here. Needs more energy. Okay, energy is now at a better level. There we go. So some of these don't really need connections, some of these do. Uh, there, there. There we are. Power's now good, food's now good, resources are better, people are now plodding along, moving along. This is not going to be a good one. I'll be lucky if I hit 250,000. I should have had a lot more rockets up at this point in time. I do not. This is because I'm talking. I don't like talking too much. There we go. Okay, lots of plastics being made. Wait, is power just not making it over here? I have no power here, that's the problem. Bloody hell. There we go, there's the food coming in. My god, it was my own bloody fault. Of course it was. There we go. Food's now massively coming in. Okay, now I can delete this because it's in the way. I don't care if farm needs to be planting. No one cares about the farm. There we are. Food's coming in. Resources are going along. Now we need more wood. Oh my god. As you can see, it's very much balancing resources, it's constantly expanding. I've done nothing so far. Usually by now I've got thousands of rockets. There we go. 12, 34, 36, 48. There we go, 48,000 people now survived. There we are. Okay, more plastic, more resources, more metal. And it's just one big massive balancing act. And you are racing against time, which a lot of people aren't good at. If you're not good at time, you'll have already failed. And this is the entire, entire game. There is no extra to this. Sometimes you'll find better, sometimes you'll find worse, but this is what you're looking at. So don't expect anything more than this. Now I've finally explained it. Okay, let's get rid of these rocks as well. Can need more power again. Need more plastic. Good. Get rid of this. Delete all of these. There we are. I can stop planting seeds as well to get the seed ships up and running. There we are, more seeds. So it's 100 seeds per seed ship. Now you more water. Of course I do. Okay, so now I need to expand more this way. Uh, that's the problem, I can't. Hmm. That's an issue. Okay, let's just start destroying this right now. There we go. 
Okay, we're low on water, that's fine. We'll deal with that later. More rockets. Okay, I need more metal. More metal is fine. That's these. I think another one here, actually. Yeah, okay, that power's, that's being pushed over to here, so that's good. There we are. Oof. Bit calmer now. A little bit calmer. My first two sea ships are down. Yeah, 14 minutes. I haven't got enough time left. This is not going to be a good one. Okay. So these are special caches. You actually want these. Those big glowy orbs. They will give you a lot of resources of everything. Each map is only a certain size. We're always at the edge, if I remember correctly. There isn't too much left past here. What's going on? My mouse is my mouse is breaking very much so. Yeah, my mouse is very much breaking right now. Goes exactly the edge, just there. There we go. 12, 24, 36, 48. That'd be let's see there. There, and there, and there, there we go. Look, he's now powering up more people! Might be able to do it. Don't know how I've got the highest score. I don't think many people know this game exists, which is sad, because it's a good game. But again, there isn't too much to it. Too much, too much to it at all. So I'm going to quickly skip ahead, I think. Actually, I'm going to speed things up. So from here on, you're going to see things sped up for the last 30 minutes, and I'll see you at the end. As you can see, two and a half minutes to go, give or take. Um, I have not really hit my goal, which is a problem, because obviously I, I have before. So yeah, as it's a game, this is uh, T minus 30. 30 minutes to build a city, as it were. People, food, living, laughing, loving, dying, and then escape. If you don't escape, what you lose? 
But as you can see, it doesn't matter as long as anyone leaves. There's no fail state. It's purely a uh, score-based survival city game. That's literally what it is. There is no real loss. It is entirely what you make of it. That's why. So, yeah. If you enjoy it, you'll enjoy it. If you don't, you don't. Obviously, you've already seen enough now to know whether you have. Because this is, this is genuinely all there is to the game. Obviously, like I say, there's more levels to the game. This is generally all there is to this game. So yeah, I've been the Fallen Shogun. We're going to finish this. Am I going to hit 500k before the end? Might be close. Might be bloody cutting it. I think we'll make it. One and a half minutes. 425k. Oof. Okay, let's find out. So we're not getting enough compost. Because obviously we need more people pooping. We need more stones. You're not getting at all. Uh, of course we're not. Not getting stone at all. There's plenty of stone out there we can grab and all that. There we go. Grab as much stone as possibly can. There we are. Grab it all. Grab it all. That gives enough for maybe another couple of rockets. But yeah, it looks like we're just short by a little, little bitty, teeny bit. Which is fine. It's a difficult game. It's a difficult game. As I say, you are always against the clock. Always, always against the clock. Now, obviously, what I could have done is built more and more stuff, which is what I probably definitely should have done. But we're not going to make the three stars. I think it still puts me up into second place in my second run. Shouldn't do, but there you are. Just not enough people playing the game. Not enough at all. I've still got plenty of people getting in, because, of course, we have lots of rockets moving around. But, yeah, we're not going to make 500k. It is what it is. And that is it. That is... T minus 30. As you can see, I've built quite a lot. Obviously, there's a lot more I could have built. Stone was an issue. Uh, there we go. People are now leaving. They go to rockets. 480k. Okay. We'll take it. And we're done. Didn't make it. Let's see the leaderboard. As you can see, I am rank 1. And I'd have been rank 2 as well. Just not enough people playing it. Not enough people playing it at all. Anyway, this has been T-30. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I've been the Fallen Shogun. Bringing you indie strategy survival and... Uh, strategy survival and tactics game, Scott. But my own thing was there. Take care. Be awesome. Be epic. Be amazing. The game is out yesterday. And I'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe out there.